everyone and welcome to another quick tutorial. It's PhD Simit here and I hope you're going to find this useful. I've created a whole playlist of tutorials for things that I find useful and I've had to like do research on in the past so I just thought if I did a tutorial video you can basically cut all of that out. So today we are going to be removing CC from any random generated sim. So your, so your like townies and any sort of new sims that are just created by the game will not be able to access CC. Well I'll also show you how to do a couple of little fixes so if you've ever had the problem where you have CC mirrors in the January 2017 patch basically there was a big problem where it kept coming up with an error saying something to do with footprints are not allowed or something like that and you can't place the mirrors they're they're there in your game and they're in your like build by sections but actually when you try and drop them into your build they don't work so this will fix that there's a couple of other thick fixes that i'm going to show you if you have any problems with like cctvs not working with games consoles um you can fix that using sims 4 studio there's loads absolutely tons of stuff you can do with sims 4 studio so if you are a, a big simmer then definitely download it and explore because there's tons of stuff you can do and i'm only just going to show you a couple of very very small things you can do so first of all you need to download the sims 4 studio so just type it into google or whatever it's sims4studio.com you need to create an account so just create one really quickly um it's there's no sort of like uh, you know um money involved it's all completely free so and it's just you need an account to be able to download it so then you go to the home page so this is what it looks like it's just like a forum and then if you go to the uh download and installing sims 4 um thread click that and then click download in the sims 4 studio and if you um have an account this will basically work if you don't have an account it won't work so make sure you definitely sign up so it says once you have registered please click for the community tested version of harmony so that's the version that we're going to be downloading there's all sorts of stuff here if you want to go through and read it do that there's a couple of like older versions of windows that it doesn't quite work for so um you may want to just check that but i'm running on windows 10 and i've had no issues um so here's a couple of things that you can do with the latest update, remove, um, uh, yeah, make CCTVs compatible with game consoles, enable all casts for random or disable if you like, fix all CC mirrors that broke, alphabetize poses, enable disable CC for vampires and aliens and just all that sort of stuff. Um, and there's loads of design stuff you can do here, like actually making your own CC and that, but I don't do any of that, so I won't be talking about that today. So scroll down until you see the big red download, and then you can either do it as a zip file or an installer, whichever way you want to do, just uh, basically download the program. I did it as an installer, and it's, I think it's, yeah, it's a, um, uh, a Dropbox type thing, so just download that like I said, or you can install it just like any other program you would install on your computer. I just saved it to my desktop and then installed it essentially. It takes like seconds. It's really not a very long process. And then um, I'll just close this down. Oops. What's wrong? Okay. So yeah, so once you've installed it, like here's the installer, but I've already done it. So I'm not going to actually install it again. Open it up. And it looks like this. This is the home page. It tells you the version at the top. So you can see it's 3.0.1.7 Harmony that I'm using at the moment. And you can uh, do, like I said, loads of stuff. So you can create create your own custom content, create your own meshes, create swatches, like do all of that stuff. But I think you can even do your own poses in this. I have never done any of that. So I, I'm not going to go into that. But if you are looking to create your own CC, then definitely check this out. If you click the My CC button, you, it will show you all your CCTV, CCTV. No, that's not what I meant. It will show you all your CC. I've used this a couple of times just to like identify things that I'm looking for specifically. There's something I want to remove and I haven't been able to do it through my other methods. And basically alphabetizes all your CC. It's all there. Like I've got hundreds of bloody items. I really need to have another clear out because my game is struggling with all of this. But it's quite interesting because... If you click on like something, um, let's go for this dress. It, you can see all the different swatches that are available and you can see who it's available for. So like this dress is available for adult, elder and teen and young adult females. And I just find it quite interesting actually to look through that, but I've never actually fiddled around within the options. I'm pretty sure you can like remove swatches if there's certain swatches you don't want. I think you can like add it, say you've got a dress that's not available for teenagers, you can add it in. I, again, I don't know how to do any of that, so I'm not going to go through that in this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to just show you a couple of little things using the tools tab. So click tools. 
Um, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to disable all CC for randomers. So basically any townies, any in-game generated sims, they won't be able to put CC on them basically, which is really good. So you don't get like random combinations of people. So you go to tools, go to batch fixes, go to CAS and say disallow for random. I mean, if you wanted to allow CC for random, then just click allow CC for random. But you might have some weird combinations in your game. Let's just leave it like that. I like to disallow. I only like the sims I've created to have CC because otherwise you're going to get some strange people walking around your town. Um, okay, so it should automatically locate your mods folder, but you can go ahead and just browse and find that if not. And also it creates its own backup folder, so you can basically back up whatever you've done. Um, and you don't really need to touch any of that, just click run. And mine shouldn't take too long because I've just done it like a few minutes ago because I just had a big CC download. Uh, and that's why I had the idea basically to do this video. So there we go. I have 60. Oh my God. How much CC do I have? 1,680 pieces of CC. It hasn't fixed any because I've literally just done it. But say I downloaded five items, it should say fixed five. Unable to fix is zero, which is good because it means yeah, there's probably no glitchy stuff in your game. Hopefully I've never seen anything that's been unable to fix, to be honest. Um, so that's that. Uh, like I say, every time I have like a big CC download, I will normally go into my game, check I like it all, um, remove anything I don't like, and then I will batch fix it using this method to make sure the, the townies don't get it. So click OK. And that's fine, really. That's done. Then the other thing you could do is we can go. Um, so let's just show you what's in here. So disallow CC for random. That's pretty much what I use. Disallow CC for aliens or allow. Disallow CC for default garment. I don't really know what that means. Disallow CC for shower. Ah, oh, brilliant. So, you know, what you have that bug sometimes where um, they'll be wearing leggings in the shower and or like they'll be in the bath and they'll be wearing. So that's fine. So fixed four items. That's cool. Done that. Oh, and sometimes it pops up uh to show you where the backup is so that it creates its own folder and then you can see all your see look how many times I've fixed stuff randomly there we go uh the other things you can do in whoops sorry was meant to open that the other things you can do in the batch fix cast section is we can update cc for all genders if you want to do that i don't tend to bother uh allow cc for your random fix male underwear swimsuit ea recolors missing mesh i why not i've never done it but um, it's because I've just updated Sims 4 Studio, so some of these options weren't available to me before. I'm going to do it because if it fixes something in my game, I'm happy. I don't know how long this is going to take, so we'll just wait. I mean, nothing really takes too long. I guess it's got a search for all your CC. Oh, okay, so no nothing to fix, so that's fine. It's worth checking, I guess. Um, what else can we do? Um, fix underwear tags, fix uh, disable CC for vampires, allow CC for vampires, fix swimwear bottom tags. I mean, I don't really know what that is, but... Okay, so then in the batch fixes, you have object se uh, section. So fix dishwasher slots. I've never done that. Fix dining tables and chairs for restaurants. I don't really know that either. I guess that's CC. I know. No. Fix single beds to be monster compatible. I never do that because I hate the monster under the bed. So I always use CC beds where the monster doesn't turn up. <laughs> Fix CC lighting. So that's good. I've done that before. Um, I think this was another thing where a patch broke some CC lighting. So I fix that. Four of those have been fixed. And the one I want to do... Um, Sorry, we're in the object section. Fixed mirror tuning. <clears throat> so both of these glitches happened and it may it meant that like you could put your CC mirrors or CC lights into your build. Some of them, not all of them. Update CC counters for toddlers. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, fix 10. That's good. So whenever there's a new game pack out, it's worth just checking if The Sims 4 Studio has updated itself. So um, fix bookcases for toddlers. We might as well do that. I'm guessing this is so that toddlers can use the um, CC bookcases and counters and stuff. Um, what else we got? Update CCTVs for video games console. Yeah, because I guess if people downloaded CCTVs before City Living came out, there were no video consoles. So it's fixed one of those for me. Great. Um, uh, that's all the objects. Misc, delete CC thumbnails. I've never done that. I don't really know what that does, but not sure. Um, modding. Okay. I guess this is all like for creating mods. So... <laughs> 
Um, again, I haven't really done that. You can also merge packages if you want to do that. Um, I don't do that because I did. I used to like merge all my CC accessories into one f package called accessories. But then if you want to delete one piece of one item, it's difficult to do it because you might just delete all of your stuff. So I've never done that, but that is possible. Um, I probably would, if you want me to do a tutorial on that, I can show you it in another video, but that's pretty much it. I really wanted this to be a short, short video. Um, and I hope it's useful. I really hope it's useful because I found it unimaginably useful because I think it makes your game faster. Like if you are a community lot and there's like 20 Sims on there and you're just the one Sim and then there's 19 other random Sims that have turned up all wearing CC. I just can't imagine that's great for your game. So I think it's I think it's worth doing. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, drop a comment down below and uh, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And check out the tutorials playlist because I've got a playlist on how to um, remove background noise if you're recording. Like I record my Sims game on a laptop and it's incredibly noisy. Um, I've got a uh, video on how to remove unwanted CC and I've got like other tutorials. So yeah, go ahead and check those out and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.